Welcome to Burning Bright, a weekly audio cast presenting poetry and prose from Passager. Jean Connor said she didn't get serious about writing poetry until after she retired from a long career as a New York State librarian. She still stays in touch with people she met in various writing workshops. It's a good way to keep going, she says, having friends who are writing and exchanging poetry and encouraging one another. Passager published Jean's first book of poems, A Cartography of Peace, in 2006, when Jean was 86 years old. It's 14 years later, and she's still writing. She writes a lot about the little details of nature, the small pleasures of life. Here's Jean Connor's poem, After Vacationing in Maine. I have come home with two gray stones, one flat, one round. I would hold to their silence, their calm, I have come home with two jars of blueberry jam and one pint of wild blueberries, picked by a small boy on the barrens. The sky wants to question the sea, and the sea wants to question the sky. Everything a question, except for blueberries that only urge me to eat. I have come home with one postcard. I sent the other three. Mountains. Ocean, why should I think of Yosemite after Maine? For no reason, except there are landscapes we cannot master. The rocks rise, the waves break. No one asks, is it Thursday, is it Sunday, is it even today? I have come home with a small clay pot, glazed black. Write for a few flowers, no more. I turn the pot and the light. It was to be a gift, but now it holds the cove, the morning light on the water, the hedges of roses, the cry of wind-borne gulls, the heath, a taste of blueberries. So small a thing, and overflowing. After Vacationing in Maine by Jean Connor Remember back when the world was open and we could go on vacations? Let's hope those days return soon. One more from Jean. It's a quiet, truly amazing poem of some renown. For some time now, I have lived anonymously. No one appears to think it odd. They think the old are, well, what they seem. Yet see that great egret at the marsh's edge, solitary, still, mere pretense that stillness. His silence is a lie. In his own pond, he is of some renown, a stalker, a catcher of fish. Watch him. Jean Connor's poem of some renown. To buy Jean Connor's book, A Cartography of Peace, or learn more about Passager and its commitment to writers over 50, go to PassagerBooks.com. You can also download Burning Bright from Spotify, Apple and Google Podcasts, and various other podcast apps. And by the way, Jean's celebrating her 101st birthday this month at Wake Robin Retirement Community in Vermont. Happy birthday, Jean! For Kendra, Mary, Christine, and the rest of the staff at Passenger, I'm John Shore.